the Emperor had not been successful. The war against the Kals had dragged on and on. Now, the Kals had managed a victory, a small and inconsequential victory to the Dragon Laws. <laughs> they would not miss these lands, but this was a massive victory to the Dothraki. To the world, it, it showed that the Dragon Lords were not invulnerable, not unbeatable. They had knocked a dent into Emperor Valyrian's perfect armour. He could not let that stand. He needed to once more show supremacy. Not against the Karls, but against an even greater threat. A target. A target he'd had his eyes on his whole life. One his family had coveted for centuries. The three daughters. Lys, Mir, Tarosh. The wealth of the coastline, and beyond it, the gateway towards Bravos and the Stepstones, two paths of ultimate expansion. They had once been the freeholds of Valyria. Why should they not serve that role again? The oldest daughter, Valantis, already had fallen to the line of House Cinder. So why should they not fall too? Why should all not fall to the emperors and kings of Valyria? They had armies, they would fight, no doubt, well, some of them might. Lys was weak, and had already suffered great losses to Volantis in the past, most recently suffering losses on their own coastline, being sieged for months. Their new leader was weak and old, a coward by every account. They may surrender, but Mir? Mir had taken land, they had expanded, they had beaten Tarosh to nothing, and continued to push in Volantis's north against Cahoris and others. They had made a name for themselves. They would put up a fight. With Lys, Mir, and Tarosh beneath him, well, the eyes of the world would be on them once more, in fear. Valyria was more than just dragons. They would see that it was the largest army in Planetos. It had a massive fleet, finely tuned. It had great weapons of destruction to siege any city. It was a nation forged in fire, built for war. Each day Valerian grew weaker and older, but when he was on the back of Azantis, he'd never felt younger. He knew he would sit on his dragon and lead his armies once more in a glorious conquest. It was time to reclaim the freeholds. Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, a game of thrones where we are continuing as Emperor Valerian the Black of House Cinder. And this problem's back again. <laughs> keep breaking apart, keep reforming, keep breaking apart, keep reforming. You know, just give it a rest all these cards up here, you know. I can't really stop them raiding. I've looked at all the ways I can. I can't fully stop it. Even if I beat them in a war, it won't really do anything. Uh, so there's kind of just no point. Uh, and I've got things I want to focus on anyway. So we're going to leave them. So, the Lyria has expanded, but only slightly. It's, it's only an advanced colony. It means it can field troops and a good garrison, but it is not going to be making any money. Which is a shame, because... This is good, but you also need a slave camp for it. So we do need to, when we uh, move our capital here, we need to make sure we have slave camps and the like for here. So, uh, we have now been decreed Emperor of the Ashes, the King of Long Summer down here, which is a pretty, it's notable to be, uh, you know, we're now a double king through the, the Kingdom of, of Long Summer. Don't think we're going to be giving this title away. I think it makes sense to hold on to these two kingdoms, because you can hold two kingdoms. It makes sense to hold on to these two, because it should give us... Fabricate of the Lord Primarchs, Radzar's Treason. Uh, who's Radzar? Is this Radzar? That's Rogar. Regal. Daeron. Which one's Radzar? Are you Radzar? You're Radzar. Okay, in that case, sure. I always forget about that land up there. This uh, war with Karth still going on. 
We've got uh, a siege going down in Geese, which is never going to end because they fell for the trap of not realizing that they don't actually have enough troops for it. So Carve is just going to basically steamroll his way through here unopposed, which I guess is good for us because we get land out of it. And a strong um, Geese is good for all of us. Even if for some reason this vassal is the one who actually owns the lands of uh, Geese. 14,000 men as a duchy title. Very impressive. Alienara's returned. Did her husband die? No? I'm a bit confused about what happened there. Oh, I, I guess they weren't married and now I can get them married? I, I don't even know what to, how to interpret that. Uh, customary dowry. I wonder which of these is going to fire first, whether the upgrade or a full colony in Valyria is going to fire first. People switch to the Valyrian faith, that's good for us. Yeah, it's, it's going to cause unrest basically every time it happens, though, will be the problem. Uh, hmm, the head of one of his attractors. Is he evil? Would he care about that? He was knighted by a hedge knight. A legendary hedge knight. Oh. Uh, he's brave, wrathful, and diligent. Maybe he'd... Let's teach him how to deal with them. Doesn't have any actual heirs yet, though. If he were to die, we would be able to inherit geese. Which is Miguel Cinder. I don't hate Miguel, but um, Ve Vera's perfect, actually. Vera Cinder. Very deep down the family line here. So many brothers and sisters already. They are already a, a scarred lunatic by the looks of it. How interesting. <laughs> You want to become the king of... You're not going to become the king of the land of long summers. Especially not you, all people. If anyone was going to be king, I'd maybe make it... That's a good question, actually. I don't even know who would take it. Well, there we go. The Bone Coast is his. Can't say no to the Bone Coast. I can't, it's interesting he's not had any... So is his wife pregnant? No, he's got... Well, his first wife died of a sickness at the age of 31. So now he's on his second wife, he's not had any kids. A Gascari woman. Interesting. They're gonna run out. Peter was said my daughter, Princess Eonara. I've just been informed of her aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. Call for a physician. Is he the direct heir? Oh he is. Baron and Ray. Baina wants a fife of his own land. No. Especially not a kingdom title. You're my grandson. You'll get the kingdom one day. Just wait your turn, boy. Uh, she already hates me. I'm not. I'll just pay her a low dowry. I mean, after everything that's happened with with Malaris at this point. I mean, we have a son together, but we still hate each other. And that son doesn't really like me that much either, so. I mean, he has reason not to like me, so. I won't deny him that. Army if is thinking maybe we could make a move on Lise. Lise and Mir are obvious next targets for re-solidifying power, because I'm fine with leaving Karth. 
and I'm never going to be able to actually tame these lands. Kahor, Mir, and Lee seem obvious targets. How wealthy is Lee at the moment? Five balance, but actually quite a small army. I mean, could be beneficial to us. Twelve balance. Play their interest. I think we should go and we maybe go in on lease here. Re-solidify our conquests a bit because we've Valyria is going to take a long time before it's actually even got a chance of forming here. And when it does, our entire focus is going to be down here. So why not? I mean, we've we've been rejuvenated by a couple of wars, but we've also been a bit upset with the loss that we took. We took a pretty bad loss against um, the Calds. It would be good for morale to get another win. Get all our armies up here. Wow, I did all of that, and then my army's going to have to go stand back down. My granddaughter's insane. Suffer no kings. I mean, if he's going to fall, well, my armies are already wedding, so maybe Mir will uh, put up more of a fight. Let's send you back down. Or you can go back down. Ships can go back down. I wait until you get to Melior, and then you can go down as well. Oh, Lisa's sworn fealty. He's weak as well, so... Good chance we can take this title from him in future. For now, he can keep it because he has sworn fealty. It's only those who stand up against me that don't keep their titles. I say we just go straight on. Go after Mia. See if he'll put up more of a fight. Whilst holding a court, the group of Nogis warriors has presented to you. The leader expresses desire that they had for you, and presents to you this young Zor stallion. Um, I have a Zors. Is this like a limited time treasury? Because no way is unless it's like a uh, unless it's like a stuffed Zors. I'd think this won't live forever. Okay, they want to fight this, and they're calling in people to help them. Who have they called in? Laraf. I don't know Laraf as a place. Before maybe Bravos would have. I mean, they kind of need Bravos to help them. Honestly, Bravos is the big power here. Bravos is sort of who we're aiming towards. If we can, in the last years of Valerian's life, just claim that coastline, you know, literally be coast to coast with the Westerosi. I mean, we've already shown to Westeros that we are a far greater threat than them. Although the only one we haven't faced is we haven't faced the rock, and the rock is clearly actually the main power on that isle. And I don't mean Dwayne. We take this, we just go straight into Bravos, I think. We just keep going. We keep going till we're beaten. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll page your hero. Still, he still doesn't like me. Maybe I could sail to me. Do I have enough ships? Um, yeah, I do have enough ships. Let's just sail to me. The Zulzio companies has caused much trouble. The Wild Stallion clearly has a lot of pent-up energy. Oh dear, and it kicked, killed Cyrenus' prize stallion. Um, get over it. But politely, of course. Politely, get over it. Uh, we send our armies, uh, yeah, Mayris, Kahiris, and myself. And let's go naval siege down Mir. Yeah, it's good to keep these, these kingdoms myself, because then I have this huge sweeping empire, especially if I can also keep this to myself. A brother in arms! Excellent work, Bena. Rune of Illyria has arrived at my court. Tarion's kid. Ridden by Cyrilla. My new wife. Ah! 
There you go. Well, our grand campaigns against these uh, Mirish fools cannot fail. They have all of their army on Little Tarosh for some reason. That can only go well for them, one imagines. I wonder if landing straight on this army is a good idea. I mean, for Dragon, you'd assume it would be. Oh, it's a great idea. Huge victory in the battle for Mir. And the Valantis army is basically... You know, if you imagine this as a war, you don't have them surrounded there. The Valantis army is coming from one side. We've just taken them from the other. Winter's coming too, so we should just take a good supply from Mir. Huh? Absolutely take their slaves. I definitely need those. Uh, our own slave camp got depleted. And since I don't border the summer, I couldn't do anything about it. Enemy host approaches intent on the castle. Uh, we'll, we'll be safest here. And this is where we get back on our ship and we go back home. We go leave Atlantis siege down here. There's just some marines on his way as well. Oh, there could be big fights here. Valantis is going to try and attack in here. Uh, she has a dragon, doesn't he? Um, doesn't she, Malerus? Yeah, she rides upon Be uh, Belal. 34 years of age. I wonder which is the oldest of the Illyrian dragons left. Because it's obviously Iphelix. But then who after Iphelix? Probably one of Iphelix's kids. Let's wipe that army. And then our forces are going to spend some time here to replenish. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't want to risk our relations. They're not that great in the first place, so. Huge victory here by uh, the Queen of Volantis. Mir is very near surrender. If I think that losing this battle might push him over. This battle down here in Volantis south. It does. It enforce our demands on them. And then we can push on into Bravos or into Tarosh, because our army is, is barely depleted here. Still 19, uh, 18,000 in my own personal army. Take, if we just take Bravos, take Tarosh. We don't even need to worry about these ones. These ones can come later. This would just give us such a wealth bed. Such a, a wealthy empire. That I'd be in such a good position. And then go to the Stepstones after. You know, make our ways very slowly towards Westeros. Because you all know Westeros is a goal. The wealth of Westeros, you know, cannot escape us forever. And of course there's an army here. Are they actually landing or are they moving? Oh, they're moving. That's fine. Hmm, which to go after? Ravos or Tarosh first? Well, how's Tarosh actually doing monetarily? They're at war in a slave raid. Uh, 15,000 earning 7 a month. Bravos is... 11,000 earning... I mean, it's Bravos, of course, is earning 32 a month. Interesting, I can only do... I guess because Pentos is its own thing. I would have thought I'd be able to do a dragon claim on Pentos, though. Because otherwise I can only do these tiny little claims. Or well, claim the city of Pentos itself. It's very strange. Let, let's clean up down south by taking to Rosh, and then... And then we can sort of decide what we're going to do. Because in my head, this guy is probably not going to live much longer. I mean, look at him, he's literally polluted here. I don't know if we're going to do the same thing we did with Atlantis. I don't know what we're going to do here. What I may do is I may give some Valyrian families a chance for this throne, much like we did with Gis. See if any can prove themselves worthy. For now, we'll let him keep his titles. Give him a chance to prove loyalty. But if they ever stand against us, they will fall. Let's see if uh, Tarosh will actually stand against us. Seems like he does want to stand. Bess of Duskendale. Uh, 
Uh, and then I think we'll probably only need a small battalion more than that, maybe. We'll just raise these. Get more to Tolos, and then... I think we'll just focus on sieging down the Isles, and we'll leave our, our men siege down the rest. This is just a very grand campaign, basically, to just go after all of these. Securing Brat Pentos would be fantastic. If I can secure both of those through one war, then it's great. But apparently, it would be multiple wars, so... Yeah, I'll make Dayron like me, so we're going to do that. Getting Dayron on my side is is very, very beneficial. What does he think of me now? Okay, he's very close to being neutral with me, which is sort of exactly what I'm hoping for. Does it say Dr. Illyria? Oh, it's Drillyria. I guess we do all this piss in my dungeon. Oh, no. I'm going to go torture people. Godzan is now its own army. Interesting. Perhaps it could increase Lord Paramount's opinion of me. I'll have to send him a gift. Um, no. On it. Don't like him that much. I do wonder. We always go through and you know ignore and try not to sail through the smoke sea because it is so dangerous. When you have it fully colonized, I wonder how safe it is to to go through the the lands here. Because you'd hope it would be safe. You sincerely hope it would be safe. Fine, we'll help him. Is he under attack from Dolo again? And it's just a raid as well, like, oh my goodness. My armies are going to be focused elsewhere. Alright, we're going to have bad entry here, but we are going to have a dragon. And that's going to wipe him. Not a lot you can do against a dragon. More slaves for the camp. Wow, we actually have enough to continue the siege. Oh, let's get out of here then. I'm not going to be doing any good if we don't have anything for the, the siege itself. Uh, get back on our ship. Yeah, you can be my regent. I'm a holy man. I'm trusting that my holy man will be... Holy two. Okay, this army is actually starting to slightly weaken our pocket. So it does make sense after this one, we we, we calm. But I think Pentos and Bravo here should definitely be sort of our grand finale target to push for. Because if once we have this, this entire coastline is ours. And I mean, if you're the Iron Throne, you're going to feel hemmed in here. You've got the rock on one side and us on the other. No place to expand. I mean, and the rock has just continued to grow. And they own King's Landing. But they don't even treat it like anything. They don't care about it. Castle Rock to them is a far more important city. Castle Rock, Old Town, the, Re uh, the High Garden. Like, they've got all of these massive, like, very important places all beneath them. Tolos is uh, prospering. Very good. Yeah, Bane is doing incredible. Valerian, not so much. We'll get him on an intrigue focus, just because I've not done one in a while, and I find it very fun. Hmm. Let's try and keep him as our friend. Ragel's been very good to us, even if things have become distant. He's still a friend. Interesting. A new Valyrian house, Pizarus riding on the back of Valix, the child of Quicksilver. Miraxes, of course, still being ridden by Lady Ray, the wonderful Lady Ray. Good. 
Yo, oh, he's becoming actually a really good swordsman. Uh, Bainer and Regal. Oh, apparently I said yes even though I didn't say yes. I mean, I would have said yes, so that's fine with me. Is he worth the coin? Kind of, actually, yeah. He's kind of worth it. See how long this siege will take. Hopefully pretty quick. I don't have many defenders on them. Could deploy a dragon if we need it. Nope, that should do it. I'll happily take that. Force our demands. You can stand down, and as can you, because you're in a friendly port. And now they are deprived, so we'll get our Chief of Army training troops again. That's ask a question. Is Illyria the most in need? I think Illyria is still the most in need, just percentage-wise. But we'll try and get through all of these, get the courtiers back up. Reappoint the old council. Do they continue their duties? Yes. Really don't want to have to fight Dolo. I'm gonna be real. I don't want to fight Dolo. <laughs> like, I've I've genuinely am getting tired of fighting Dolo. Can I get the Marine Army? How big are they? Yeah, maybe the Unkai Army. Yeah, just you guys all heads of the Demon Road. We'll go fight him there. The well, last time I messaged him, he said I should have just sent a letter. So if he says no to this letter, he's a hypocrite. Well, there you go. He wasn't lying. A letter was all it took. Baron, Regal, Kahiris. Okay, he's just leading that army. Okay. Get Jamin on this one then. Yes, it's very slow going over these stars as well. The colony in Selrahu. Is this one of yours? Oh, is it this one? That must be one of the ones up here then. But I'll get 50 gold to try and keep that colony alive. Prima Rugar has gained. My goodness. And he's incapable. He's been declared incapable. He's a lunatic, has grayscale. My dear god. His heir is my wife, Zayela. He has no children, so I don't even know what would happen here. What's the future of Astapor? Because if he's incompetent and incapable, like... Oof. Oh, he just gave up. Didn't even let me send my relief force in. And they lost me this province, which is a bit annoying. The fact is that the game actually wouldn't have let me fight for this province, by the way. Un unless it was in this defensive situation. When, realistically, I should have been in the war from the very start. It's a bit silly. And it just means that the already infuriatingly annoying Dolo is more infuriating. Because he's taken a province from me, so now this is actually an isolated province. Because you can't get to it. Oh, such fun are we having. Such fun, such fun. We we love having to constantly deal with the Carl over and over and over again. Why are the Stormlands independent? Is there a war? I Septim the Fifth in the Iron Throne most devout to Jor War. What the hell? The Starry Sept is fighting the Iron Throne. How the hell is the Iron Throne getting to them? They're literally... Under, they aren't technically on the coast, I guess, but... 
it's a river. I don't even know if that's a possible. I didn't even know you could conquer Starry Sept. I thought Starry Sept was it's touchable. Last Lament is fighting a war against him, apparently. Can I sneak attack Last Lament? Can't the Clove Wars if we've raised army levels. Oh, right, my armies are still up. That's why. God, all of my new vassals apparently have massive debts that they just refuse to pay off. Let's try to get these armies back up. We are going to soon have an army in Valyria as well. It's already up to, to a thousand strong, which... I mean, it's, it's, it's a notable army. Get war elephant pit pens as well. This is going to be a really, really good province if we can actually get it to goddamn work. What's up with getting war elephants? You need smaller states too, I see. You can st I mean, we can st make start in here with um, at least basic defences. A new dragon is in the world. Lady Shera Cinder has apparently successfully hatched one and named her Tagar. Well, things are going well on Astapol. My son, Princess, has been possessed by oozing lesions eye fever. He has the pox. Oh dear. Is a pox spread to Volantis? Eamon barely looks like a cinder. During its long period of abandonment, the roads of the era have become virtually unusable. But paving still survives as cracked and broken, so we want to rebuild the roads. Yeah, I'll pay for that. It's an annoying cost, but we'll, I'd rather pay than have a negative modifier. We want to keep getting whatever we can to make Valyria as prosperous as it can be. A traditional great house of the region. House Cinder is already a great house of the region. I guess you'd, you'd call them House Cinder of Yunkai. I would maybe like if he forged his own... He also has a source? If he forged his own um, bloodline, because right now Aelinara's bloodline is the only new one that's shown up. And, I mean, if he's become, like, this respected great house, then why not? I guess he actually is sort of one of the oldest houses left. Right? Through Jaehaerys and then through Rhaegal, because Rhaegal was a direct donor. Uh, and then, I guess, yeah, Rhaegal was the first that was given ownership by Aemond. So it's at least a long time. More generations than most, is what I'd say. Ah, uh, the pox is spreading. He keeps hating me. Every time we get to a positive relations, he begins to hate me again. Is there something that's just holding him out completely? Oh, it's because it's for the Empire. He wants the Empire of Giscar. Ugh. Damn. And my Dements is too big. My Dements will always be too big. Because I'm not giving up that one. Oh, bugger. Yeah, let's close the gates if there is a pox in Illyria. How the hell did it get on the island? I humbly request my bastards and the Rana be legitimized very well. You want to marry him to Bainer? No, because he's incapable. I'm not doing that. Pox could be a real problem. Are we able to do anything about it? No. Just have to hope our court physician can hold it back a bit then. Go up to 5,000. We can move our training troops to uh, Tolos then. I think Tolos is more than Mantaris, right? Oh, no, they're about the same. Very close between them. I, w I assume this is probably the same pox that we were witnessing in um, Mia when we were attacking them. I mean, you could even say to make the, the story work that we picked this up from our walls over here from fighting Mir and Tarosh. Is Mir at war? Drail is at war. Lord Padano's claim on it. Ow, oh, I hate the Dales. Smash them, kill the scum, get them in the teeth, wipe them off the face of the earth. As the infidels. Ah, how I hate them. I hate them. Infidels and Satchel Ram are insulted. What happens to the kingdom title of Pentos? Is it gone? Is that why this issue's having? 
No, it's, it is being held. He he does have the title, so I should be able to compete for it, but it won't let me. How odd. I don't care about... I mean, this is supposedly the capital, right? This is Valley's Dothrak, but I don't really care. I'm not going to protect him. I'll just, that'll just immediately push me into more war. And it's... Oh, Daren's died! Daron has passed away. What killed him? An accident. He died of an accident, and now his son, Donalos, has inherited. Literally the one he just legitimized. If you're Donano, Do you'll feel bored. Or, like, no, it's Arios. Arios would feel robbed here. I mean, he's two years old, so it doesn't really matter to him, but still. Legitimized Bastard has taken the uh, throne, but only at the age of four. Hopefully, the regent isn't. Hungry, otherwise we could have a problem on our hands. A problem I don't really want to have to deal with. Next gone of Illyria. A newly born dragon. Terran's one. Ridden by Aemon. Aemon's dragon. Oh, there you go. I didn't even know Aemon had a dragon. It's Mr. Hatching. I mean, it was a couple years ago, so I definitely missed the hatching. I can't take the Howling Isles, can I? I can't, I can't, no, I can slave raid them, but maybe I could Dragon Conquest them, because if I Dragon Conquest these, I can actually start moving on to doing slave raids on all these, because right now, for example, I couldn't, well, the Alatis is ruins anyway, but they all ruins. Oh, never mind, they're all ruins, but I can't do one on the Isle of Serpents, because we don't border it. Same with these Isle of Flies, like, all these I don't border. The big one is obviously the Summer Isles. I think through Lease, I now do border them? No. Interesting. Maybe I will have to Dragon Conquest Last Lament then. Just secure this North Island and use a North Island to push down. Yeah, why not? Take a break from our, our wars up north and do a north war down south. This one, I just feel like, you know, we've, we've talked about how war-hungry... Our king is, why not just do some wars with him? Interesting, why can't I use the king in that army? Is there some other army I have raised I forgot about? No, she can't be, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to... I guess the king just... Oh, it's because my I'm in... I have to open the gates, that's why. And now I would be able to... Yeah, there you go. Get our best commanders on this. Don't think we'll need a dragon, will we? Uh, I mean, you know what? I, I lead, I've led every battle so far. I'm going to keep leading battles. I need to prove I'm a strong thing. No matter what. We take this, we can start just pushing in this up. Doesn't matter how many of them rise up against me. It won't do anything. In last man has how many men? 39 men. All of them raising, I don't think it's going to do anything. This is just like, this is a, a, almost co colonizing what we're doing here. Honestly, maybe it would have made sense to colonize Stonehead first. But I think if I'd taken Stonehead, I actually wouldn't be able to do any of the rest because none of these actually count. I got scurvy. Incapable? What? Oh, because I'm bedridden from the scurvy. Oh, crap. Uh, we're going to need to get new commanders on this then. Oh! That's going to end the war as well, isn't it? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, we'll have to invite all the Lords and Realms and Ladies. It's going to cost us money, though. Which is also mean I'm, we're going to have to... I have a wild dragon? 
I wait, I have a Xantus? If I click Tame Your Dragon, I want to see what happens there. Uh, we'll recruit. And we will sell slaves from our camp to make up our debt. All this at once. And we're going to have to take these armies back. I will tame my dragon. There we go. Oh, but bow before his excellency, Magor of House Cinder, the first of his name, Emperor of the Gulf of, of Grief, Master of Marine, Astapor, and Yunkai, Ruler of Illyria, and heir to the Giscari Empire. That is a sick name. That is a really sick name. I love the uh, Emperor of the Gulf of Grief. That's such a sick title. Well, Magor the Messy has been watching this throne for a long time, and at the age of 39, it is finally his. Uh, he needs a stewardship up, so we're going to give him that just so he can have a little bit be better base stu uh, stewardship. Um, interesting. Let's... How much would I need? A thousand gold for that. Let's see the realm prosper then. We've literally just been to a bunch of wars. Let's try and see the realm prosper a bit. Well, this is an interesting situation to be in here because I just inherited the throne after a bunch of successful conquests from my father, only for him to die of scurvy at sea. Oh, Pentos is independent though. They're fighting a war? Oh, it's a war of tyranny. Never mind then. Your Master of Whispers reports a heretical sorcerer has been caught in jail in the city of the Victor Shore. I do need a physician though. Spent lavishly on food. And I got fat from it. Oh, come on. It's it, I've only been the king for a day. Come on. We're going to have to start working that one off. I can't believe that Val Valerian died before he had a chance to see Valyria prosper. I mean, to be fair, Valyria might not prosper in Bloody Magor's lifetime. This is just taking so long, but... Still, scurvy being what killed him. Um, he recently received land near Illyria by writ of the Emperor, but when it came time to occupy the lands, there was already armed men present who assaulted him. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we can, we'll give him some gold to try and resecure his, his lands. And now these armies can rest. And so the funeral is... Lots of marriages going on. Huge wars going on here. Is this a war between Mir and Tarosh? A war over Kylos. So Mir, Mir wants to secure Kylos here. Makes sense. Because if you own these two, then Tarosh is just literally one island. It's not much of a kingdom, is it? Uh, oof. Well, we've returned home. We've chosen our father's crown. We've literally taken the same crown he has. Be I mean, it makes sense we have the same dragon he has as Xantis. This is the first time I think we've had a dragon go straight from father to son, rather than a son have his own dragon. That's Mayron in prison. Uh, could I... buy him? Or... Probably not. Okay. Me and my... My... Brother should hopefully soon be king here. But maybe we'll have a better chance. Jaharis is, is in command because we do like Jaharis. I mean, we don't. We, we like Miliris too. That's good to know. Hmm. We we'll need a new council. Let's get. There you go. As one. Work on improving that holding. Ooh. This is a tough one. Yeah, Orion can be the Imperial Justica. Regal is definitely going to be our chief general. I mean, he's a fantastic general. Going to work on training the troops. And our Lord Treasurer will be Brakow. And I shouldn't need any of these. We'll just set on scheme for the, the plot discovery, at least. And we'll collect taxes in Illyria. So we'll collect taxes in Illyria. There we go. Now, we're two dimensions over, which I don't really want to be. And the Port of Sides and Zoklos give me almost nothing. What are they a part of? 
yeah, it's it's these three are in one together. Maybe I can give these two away then. How about maybe to my son? Hmm. Or do do I have? No, because Jaharis will will inherit a throne of his own. Yeah, we'll give him to Baina. Then he can't have anything to complain about. Zokloss and Port of Sides. And I've had that removed from my membership. God damn it. I'll grant titles to whoever I like. Why the council tell me? I don't have a council, do I? In terms of in terms of voting. Yeah, I, I don't have council power. I don't care what they think. I can give titles to whoever I want. Who would aid to deny me? Yeah, and of course he's going to create the High Lordship, which is going to give him a claim on Medion March, which is going to keep demanding it over and over again, but the answer is going to be no. Because these three titles, as I've mentioned, are, so many, are literally just the perfect protection for the Port of Size for us. The Roinar Liberation, I guess that's against Cahoris. Either You'd think Cahor can handle this, though, can't, shouldn't they? Maybe not, actually. Their armies are quite uh, similar. Ugh. They all support his petition. Uh, I mean, he's my son. We'll call it. We'll call it the heir's title. We'll call it the heir's title. I'm a bit annoyed not to give it to him, but I kind of expected this to happen. I actually more expected him to. Oh, and he's, he gets melee on March automatically. That's why. You bloody brat. Honestly, Melio March has, has kind of been attacked so many times that it's lost so much at this point. Like, a thousand men. It used to have much more than that. How much money does it make? I mean, it makes okay tax value, but then if you compare that with, with Mantaris to its north, you know, Mantaris and Tolos make the same, and yet their levies are just so much larger. So it's not a huge loss. It's an annoying loss. More than anything. Iflix is now being ridden by another cinder. The she dragon Aaron. Huh. The fun name. Do I not have any commanders? Uh, let's alter some commanders. Maybe get a new regent. I won't make my son my regent. That totally won't cause any uh, power struggles of any sort. We have to ignore this because this would crash my game. Uh, news from Old Lands of a trial by combat. Lord Freeholder Illorus Redekis uh, demanded a trial by combat from his captain, Queen Malera Cinder. Lazarus forces champion to submit, proving his innocence. Oh. Winning in a trial by combat. Again, a very um, Westerosi thing. I don't really think we'd be doing trial by combat here, but, you know, it is what it is. Is this war still ongoing? No, I guess it came to a white piece. My bodyguards set sail on Lefler in dead night. He's taken several ships and a crew of royal men to start the life of a pirate. The KO, the bastard of the demon pass. <laughs> Hey, I mean, pirate's life for him. Taking my ships, though, bloody hell. You prick. Summer fair, maybe? I don't think I need a summer fair, though, do I? Yeah, we're flourishing, we're fine. You can get a marriage between us and Marine. Heiress of Marine and my daughter, Baina. Works for me. This guy wears a very fancy outfit. Bathan the Second, of course, inherited at a very young age after Alix's death. But he actually likes me. He didn't like my father, but he does like me. Uh, we'll do the customary amount. That's fine. I should still have... Yeah, I still have some slaves left, so that's fine.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Lord Volkin has revolted against me, citing evidence of plans to have him arrested. What? There's no such thing. Who even is this? I literally don't know where this is. It's I would have thought it'd be over here. It's not. Is it in Gis? Who is this? It's Hesh. We're fighting a war over Hesh, are we? Honestly, Marine can go handle this. I'm gonna go travel to a wedding. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with Hesh. Uh, we'll see if she gains eyes light. Yay! <coughs> Ooh, yay! I was expecting my voice to crack on that. Using this is actually caught up in a cost us a good amount of men. But to be fair, it does mean that they, these men down here are gonna be more organized now. 13,000 under. Baynar, and Baynar's going to be super loyal, because he is my son. And he wants to tame a dragon, so, you know, he's an, he's an ambitious boy. He's disfigured, but he's ambitious. Got disfigured, and a hair lip, and scarred. This, fa we, this hair lip trait is just omnipresent in this family, it seems. <laughs> Interesting, he doesn't have any male heirs? I mean, he doesn't have any heirs, what am I about to ask? No heirs. And his heir wouldn't be any of his siblings because he doesn't have any brothers. I only had one son. That is a bit surprising. So Jahira is actually his heir. Curious. Jahira will probably make a better ruler than he. And honestly, it's... Valix, Valix has passed away at 155. Oh, and that should be the end of the War of Hesh. Uh, let's get a castle down here, even though it's not going to give us any value. We will offer him peace by enforcing his demands. He will fall for Hesh. And he will also forfeit that lordship. And I'm going to grant this to... I mean, I could even keep it, but I'm not going to keep it, am I? Honestly, maybe I make this not my problem to deal with. Marine does deserve a bit of empowerment. They've had the same borders for so long. I'm not going to give him the Empire of Giscard, because that would be absolutely stupid. And would mean that he literally just would leave my kingdom completely. Uh, we'll give him the High Lordship of Hess and its lower titles. Some of my kin are unhappy. My kin can shut up. I don't care what my kin think. My kin and my council are always complaining about everything and everything. A law uprising in Volantis. They're gonna win. What the hell? Oh, he's definitely gonna win this. Oh, second army came in with a dragon. You can see hell the dragon shows up. I humbly request to join you in Illyria, so I may serve you or ask you to return as a small... Uh... No, you can stay in Astapol. I know you have a dragon. You have Meraxes, but I would rather spread the dragon out a little bit, because this makes sense to have this many dragons at the moment <laughs> in Illyria. Well, I think that is where we will call it for this episode. What an interesting circumstance. I mean, Valerian... If you ask me, he deserves a bloodline. I may even see if it's possible to give him a posthumous bloodline. Because he's had an incredible life. To die of scurvy like that is a bit of a shame. But he was 66 years old. I mean, he was still leading armies at 66. That's the main thing. But to conquer Lys, Tarosh, uh, Mir. To push himself into down here and then pass away before he could take it from scurvy. But, you know, he's also... He's only, he did lose wars in Dolo and other areas, which... That's a problem. <laughs> but he's he's a legend, really. And also, obviously, the first settle Volantis. And now he's put Magor here in a really good position. Magor the first. Uh, we can move to... Trying to... F no, i not fall in love. How about build a war chest? Puts us in a really strong position. Now. What we could do... 
is because we have the extra spot, we could maybe start colonizing one of these two. That could be a good idea. We're going to need a loan, but this could be a really good idea, starting to expand our influence out of Valyria. Prepare Valyria for becoming our capital. That sounds like a wise idea. But that is where we are going to end it for this episode. We've taken our steps into Valyria. Valyria is beginning to grow. It has its Valyrian road, a very good Valyrian road, but it was, you know, it's struggling a little bit. And it's going to struggle more and more unless we can restore it to its glory. And I'm sure Magor the Messi will be the man. A humble, charitable, shy, kind, zealous, honest, diligent scholar. <laughs> He's, I mean, him and Jahira formed a strong bond and a strong dynasty. And now with their son ruling over the lands of Long Summer, we're in a very secure position. Whether or not it will hold, well, we'll have to see. I shall see you guys in the next episode. Until then.